It has sparked more conversation about K-10 Highway. And this comes two years after a little boy died on the same road in a similar crash. Now, some are saying they think that this all could have been prevented. And we got a car accident. Cortland Shutt remembers the crash, but she remembers her big brother even more. Canaan, we went to the little place that had the nets and water. Police reports show a driver high on drugs crossed over the median on K-10 near Eudora back in 2011, killing then five-year-old Canaan Shutt. It's hard for us because, you know, we teach our kids, buckle up and get in your car seat, you'll be safe. And... Unfortunately, he was on a road that just wasn't safe enough. And then on Tuesday, another crossover crash on K-10 near Renner Road killed 52-year-old Randy Schimmel. We're standing near where that accident happened, and as you can see, there's no crossover cables, which is what a lot of K-10 does still look like, and it's exactly what Allison Shutt is still trying to change. After Kanan's accident, his mom, Allison, and her friends immediately petitioned to get crossover cables installed. Governor Brownback and KDOT responded with two two mile stretches, one near Canaan's crash site and the other near the K10 and K7 interchange. But Allison says they should be installed along the entire stretch of highway. We believe that we would still have Canaan here had cables been put in. And she is not giving up. Anything we can do to make a difference, make things safer and better, we're going to do. Now, we did reach out to KDOT to find out if they plan to install more median cables along K10. They said in the summer of 2014, there will be improvements on the road between I-435 to Woodland, but they did not say exactly what those improvements will look like.